I'm gonna test a recipe today. I saw this recipe in an online magazine. The recipe name itself is called Laoshan style dry spicy pork. Sounds very interesting. The instruction is fairly straightforward and the ingredients are very few and very simple. So I'm gonna test this recipe and I'm gonna have a taste and I'm gonna let you know whether this recipe works for me or not. The Laoshan style dry spicy pork. The ingredients we need for this recipe is listed over here. Four dried chilies, which I have over here. Now, one tablespoon of dried shrimps. Five French shallots, which he asked to peel and slice. Now, the chilies itself, he asked to de-seed if you don't want it too spicy. Both the chilies and the dried shrimps, it needs to be soaked in water to soften the chili and the dried shrimps. The other ingredients we need obviously is cooking oil. It suggests that one tablespoon, we have a look at, at it later. The pork itself, we need a thinly sliced pork, not too lean. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use pork fillet and pork fillet is very good for stir fry. It just need to be fried very quickly and not too long, otherwise it'll be quite tough. It asks for 300 grams, this is 520 grams, so I'm going to use about two thirds of this. The other ingredients in terms of the sauce, it asks for two tablespoons of fish sauce, which I have fish sauce over here, half a teaspoon of sugar, I'm using cane sugar, so I have half teaspoon sugar. Now, it says five lime leaves. Be very careful when it talks about lime leaves in Asia. For Asian cooking, we use kaffir lime leaves. So this is how a kaffir lime leaves looks like. So I have five kaffir lime leaves over here. And then we need three tablespoons of thick coconut milk. So thick coconut milk is the same as coconut cream. So this is coconut cream. And half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, which I have black pepper here, which I need to ground this using mortar and pestle. So that's all the ingredients for this recipe. It's very simple, very straightforward. So what I'm gonna do now is to follow the instruction that is asking for and basically, I'm going to follow the instructions on how to make this Laoshan dry spicy pork. Only four steps, actually only three, so it's very straightforward. So let's get started. So the first step in the ingredients, it asks to soak the dried chilies and the streams. Soak them separately in water until it's softened. Now I'm going to let the dried shrimps and the dried chili soak for at least 5-10 minutes before I drain the water. I'm going to cut it in half, remove the skin. the skin. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it into this mortar and pestle. Now if you don't have mortar and pestle according to the ingredients, either you pound it or you can just blend it in a blender or a spice grinder. I'm just following the ingredients and the recipe to the tea. And I'll let you know at the end of it I'm going to have a taste. I'm going to let you know if it actually works for me and whether I need to adjust any of the ingredients to suit my own taste. Okay, this is the last of the shallots. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pound them. I'm going to add the dried shrimps. And then I'm going to add the dried 
dried chili. So with the dried chili, I'm just gonna break it. Then I'm gonna pound them and mix them together. Now this looks pretty good. This is, this should be fine. So that's the spice paste for stir frying the pork. The second step which I have to do is to heat the oil in a pan. So it's actually asking me to start frying the paste. But before that, what it didn't ask me to do is what to do with this kaffir lime leaves. So basically, according to the instruction, it basically say throw this, add this lime leaves into the pan uh, together with the pork when it's stir fry. But what I like to do with the kaffir lime leaves, I always like to uh, thinly slice them uh, into uh, very, very thin, fine uh, strips. Um, it's almost like Juliet. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna finally uh, slice the kaffir lime leaves into thin strips. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it into half. So I'm gonna break it into half uh, in the middle. So, and then the top half, the lower half, just to separate them. So this is the top half, this is the lower half. So that's what I'm doing. The lower half and the top half. Now, it depends on the kaffir lime leaves. If you find the kaffir lime leaves, the vein itself, if it's too tough, what you need to do is to slice this and to remove the vein. So, uh, so basically, thinly slice, slice to remove the vein of the leaf. This is a little bit woody, so we don't really want this. So put this aside. So I have all this slice, all the vein has been removed. So I'm gonna stack it up. Now you don't really have to do what I'm doing. You could basically squash the lime leaves and then you can always toss it into the pan. So it's really up to you. It's individual preference. So I'm gonna do it next. I'm just gonna slice this. Half a teaspoon of black peppercorn and I'm just gonna use my mortar and pestle just to ground it. I'm gonna mix it with the coffee lime leaves. Ask to use 300 gram. So this is 500, more than 500 gram. I'm gonna cut this off. So roughly about this much. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the rest in the fridge to use it for something else. So this beautiful pork fillet, I'm just gonna slice it very thinly. So that's all the preparation. Step one, I've already done. Basically, is the dried shrimps, the, the dried shrimps, the chilies, and the shallots, to pound them until I get the consistency of a smooth paste. So mine is a little bit coarse, but it's smooth. It's not very fine. But if you use a blender, you probably get a very fine, smooth paste. Now the second step is actually heat oil in the wok over medium heat. When the oil is very hot, add the paste and fry for one to two minutes until it thickens and is fragrant. We'll have a look. 
<laughs> I don't really know what it means by it thickens and it's fragrant. Fragrant, yes, but thickens, I don't really know. And the oil that is suggested to use is only one tablespoon. So it's very little oil. It's not much oil. So I'm not sure how you're going to fry the pork with just one tablespoon of cooking oil. And, uh, and then the third step, after you have fried the paste until it's fragrant, we will add the pork, the fish sauce, the sugar and the lime leaves to flavour the dish. I'm gonna turn on the exhaust fan, so it might be a little bit noisy. Turn up the flame. It asks for just a medium heat. So that's medium on the medium flame. Just gonna add some cooking oil. It, uh, it asks for only one tablespoon. I've never cooked with just one tablespoon in an Asian stir fry, so I don't really know how that's gonna work. Now, one tablespoon. So that's one tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna add the paste. Just gonna fry this for one to two minutes until it's fragrant. So this is very, very fast. That's about one minute. So next I need to add, I'm gonna add the uh, pork. So I'll add the pork. take long to cook the pork. Add the black pepper and the kaffir lime leaves. Say two teaspoons of fish sauce. That's one. So that's two. I can smell it, it smells nice. Now to add the uh, sugar, yes. and lastly, three tablespoons of coconut cream, that's one, that's two, and roughly three. I'm gonna lower the heat, okay, it's cooked. It smells nice, it does smell really really good. And that's it, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. So there we have it, it's all done. Laotian dry spicy pork. The first time I'm cooking this to test the recipe. So I'm gonna plate this. It doesn't look anything like the photo in the magazine. Now the photo itself, it looks like it has a much darker color, which I don't really know why mine is not as dark. And also it looks like the photo, the photo that's in the magazine, it looks like it's actually battered. So the photo in the magazine looks quite different from what I have come up with in terms of my Laotian dry spicy pork. So what I'm gonna do now is to have a taste and to see what it tastes like. It looks nice. Now it also suggests to garnish with spring onions. So I'm gonna garnish with spring onions. It looks pretty. So, that, so there we have it, the Laotian dry spicy pork. First time I've made this, testing out the recipe. I'm gonna have a taste and to see what it tastes like. I think it's gonna be, I think it should work. Mm. 
Wow. It actually is very, very nice, very good. It is spicy. That's why it's called spicy pork. Laotian dry spicy pork, it has an amazing flavor. I love the aroma of the kaffir lime leaves. I knew that's going to work because I love cooking with kaffir lime leaves. It's really good. And I have to take my work back. When I say that it's only one tablespoon of oil, it's not going to work, but it does work. So one tablespoon of oil. Honestly, I do love this recipe and it is that simple as you have seen. So, so thanks very much to the magazine. The fish sauce which I've added based on the portion that is suggested in the ingredients is just perfect for me. So I wouldn't adjust anything that's in the ingredients. However, if you like it saltier, you can add more fish sauce. The sugar itself will balance the fish sauce and that coconut cream gives it a very nice layer of richness in the dry spicy pork. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. What I'm going to do in the next few videos, join me on a food trail. I'm going to start testing out recipes that I have never cooked before. I'm going to look at magazines, I'm going to look at recipe book, and I'm going to test the recipe. So learn a new recipe in each video. I hope you will join me on my food trail journey. And if you enjoy this video, remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. My name is Victor Koo. See you in my next video.